what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Federal Marshal seized Palm Beach County Sheriff's Deputy Adam Lynn's property under a court order after Sheriff Rick Bradshaw refused to pay a dime toward the settlement. The settlement was won in a civil suit brought against Lynn by a man that he shot and paralyzed. Lynn read the court order, became visibly shaken, and this sucker fainted. Paramedics were called, and when Lynn recovered, he sat back on a squad car and he watched as movers loaded up his belongings and emptied out virtually everything. Among the items taken, his car, couch, coffee tables, end tables, lamps, floors, flat screen TV, iron, ironing board, I like that one. Computer, golf clubs, bicycle, tools, and almost all of his non-sheriff's office clothing. The only thing that they did not take was shoes and underwear and some dishes and some other insignificant things. This shooting took place September 13, 2013, when Lynn spotted 19-year-old Dontrell Stevens riding his bike in what he described as a high crime area, an area that is poverty stricken where this young man just happened to live. Lynn also said that Steven rode his bicycle from the left side of the residential street to the right side without using a marked crosswalk. Dash cam video show that this guy, Dontrell Stevens, got off his bicycle with his cell phone in hand. And he went out of frame, and just a few seconds later, Lynn opened fire, gunned him down. He said that the guy was re reaching for his waistband. Of course, drum roll, please, y'all know what's coming. He feared for his life. Boy, that's the good old, boy, that's the one right there. Man, what if me and you could use that? I feared for my life, so I shot him. Ooh, what if we could use it on police officers? Wouldn't that be cool? Wouldn't that just, wouldn't that level shit off? I feared for my life. Because guess what? Every single time, they pull you over, especially if you're a black man in America. You feel for your life. If you don't feel for your life, you're dumb. You're numb. Not dumb, but you're numb. Well, you're dumb too. But something is wrong with you if you don't when they pull you over. You got to really know one to not feel for your life, especially the white ones. Because it ain't the other ones. Mainly, it's the white ones mainly. I see a couple of these Asians getting in on the action now. But it's mainly the white officers who doing all this killing, killing folks. That's a good start for the departments to become more diverse, but it ain't enough because even if you got a handful of them out there, you still got problems because it's the mentality is kill. They've been ordered to kill black men. I'm surprised dudes survived. But hell, I'm sure that there's times where he wish he hadn't survived because this man is left in a wheelchair, no working parts below. Like, don't know if he had kids. I'm sure he probably didn't have any kids, 19 years old. His idea of raising children, that's a wrap. Even if he does have any kids, he can't really uh, function well when it comes to playing catch 
teaching them how to ride a bicycle. You know, all of the things that it takes typically two arms and two legs to do. Run up and down the field with your kid, you know, play catch, all that kind of stuff, you know. Even racing. You know, I remember I remember I used to race my kids, run up and down the street racing. I mean, all of that kind of stuff that you do with your kids. Even just playing in the in your living room. Certain things that he's restricted to doing. And we're not even gonna get into having the sex sexual component of all of this. I mean, he destroyed the dual life. At the minimum, he should have received some jail time. That's the very, very, I mean, that's the absolute minimum. And I'm talking about minimum 30 years. Punish his ass. See, that is the only thing that's going to deter these shootings. It, it, it's either they're going to start getting shot back, they ass to start getting it, or they got to be punished. They got to take immunity off the table. Once that happens, you'll see, a, I'm talking about a major decrease. They killed over a thousand U.S. citizens last year, 2017 alone, over a thousand. So far in this month alone, I, I believe they killed over 60 U.S. citizens. Just this month. I mean, they are some killing machines, man. Was it, was it 60? 60, 20, 20. Yeah, I believe it's 60. Just this month alone. <sighs> Until they start getting punished. I mean, look, man. Think about it. If, if you or I do something that's wrong, whatever it is, even if it's not illegal, even if it's not something that has to do with law, if you do something that's wrong and you're not punished what is the incentive for you to do it the right way the next time there is no incentive and that's the deal is in fact they're getting it they're being incentivized by doing the wrong thing the dude got a promotion when he shot the youngster they promoted him They're promoting bad behavior. So the only thing that I can see happening is when they start getting it or they start being punished for it. Now, Stevens' lawyer tried to have uh, the uh, officer's wages garnished, but because over 50% of his salary goes toward his daughter he didn't qualify he was exempt from having to pay out uh parts of his salary to uh stevens so but that's cold-blooded man that's cold-blooded i mean to have your life just upended like that and then for this sucker to act like it's no big deal and for the department to give him a promotion Man, just think about that, man. If you do wrong, you do dirt. And you're actually rewarded for it. I mean, think about it. It's just like a kid. If a kid is crying or a kid acts bad, a kid is, I'm talking about a, if you have a kid at home and your kid goes out and get into fights and stuff or your kid talks back, your kid swing on you or whatever, and... You give them their way. You actually reward them. You, are, you still allow them to do whatever they want to do. They can go to the party. They can stay up late. They get to have all of their games. They get to enjoy being on social media. There's absolutely no punishment whatsoever. What is their incentive to change? There is none. You got to punish them or you'll never see a change. So I commend uh, the judge for signing that order 
to garnish to uh to seize his property. But look at that punk fan. Look at that sucker. He fan. Like the broad he is. The only thing that I wish is that instead of only seizing his property, I wish they had taken it a step further. The property seizing thing is cool. But you know what would have been a more fitting punishment? Public execution. No more talk. What the haters talking about?